Okay guys, today we got a EGR throttle plate to put on. Uh, it's got a PO488 code to it. And that's basically all internal to the actual TAC motor in here. So it's basically a electronic throttle body for a gas vehicle, but they put it on the 6.4 for uh, to help the EGR flow. And they also use it when there's a runaway condition. Uh, the PCM will recognize the runaway condition and it will actually close that plate all the way and it will kill the engine for you. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get started on removing that and it's right here by the EGR valve and the air intake here for the air filter. It's a little buried in there, the one bolt is and uh, I'm going to show you how to get it out of there without fighting it too much. First thing we should do is spray these. Clamps down. These ones are usually okay. Reason being is they get corrosion on them and they're such fine thread. You'll be taking them off of here and they will actually strip out. The nut will strip out, not the actual uh, stud of the clamp. And it's a very um, fine thread, and the nut is hard to find. So uh, take the time now to spray them, and we'll take them off without ruining them. All right, now these soak for a while. What you want to do is take off this clamp instead of this one. It's a lot easier to get it on there to fit this to the um, hose here than to put the whole thing onto the throttle body it's a lot easier so just take this one off loosen this one and then you can pull that one after that just pull them off of there same thing up here and then just try to get up and on the way like that now what I do to avoid fighting the that bolt and the bolt underneath it is just get this air intake out of the way. It's very simple to do. Loosen that clamp and that clamp. They're eight millimeters. Make a pull the Mass airflow connector meter. Now, if this electrical connector, it's actually a little bit different. You don't press down on it to release it. You get in there and you pry it back. And when it goes back, it goes up. Let's see. Do this one-handed. There we go. And that's how it releases on these. So don't break that tab. At this point, you just need to pull those three 8 millimeter bolts out. There's one there. And there should be one under here, you should be able to see. Right there. That's the one we made a lot easier to get at here. By taking that ear intake snorkel off. And there's one over here right there. I took this cack tube and put a bungee on it so it can kind of stay up and out of the way and we can get to all three of those bolts. Okay so like I said PO488 is the code we're getting for these basically it's not um, the plate is not moving to its commanded position it watches actual and the, um, it has a desired position. It wants that plate to be in based on software strategy. Now unlike a electronic throttle body, these ones are um, full open in the rest position. There really isn't any real diagnostics for this. Once it finds that fault, it will flag the code and there really isn't any PCM or um, wiring problems on the uh, 6.4 liter like the 6.0 had. Went to chafe locations. Never had an issue with them. Even these old ones that are real high mileage we're still seeing because uh, independent diesel shops just won't touch them. 
So this is a good one to show. And you can test yours the same way. It's got a return spring in there and gears. You'll feel the gears as you move this. You quote to close it. Springs back. This one. Go to close it. I can close it. It's a lot harder to close. And every position I put it to, it's holding. And there's a couple of rough spots too. So you go full closed, it's just sticking there. It's not returning. So I'm guessing the return springs in these are breaking, and it needs that spring to bring it back to overcome the gear pressure from the uh, gear reduction set in there. I'm going to have to open this one up and uh, check it out. But that's a good test to do. If you're going to do this test, do it with the electrical connector disconnected. Don't mess around with it. And the way the PCM finds this is they uh, it does a sweep of it. I believe it's every key cycle. You'll hear it. Don't forget to put a new uh, O-ring on there so that's all sealed up. We're not ingesting any dirt. And uh, bolts are back on. As far as those bolts going back in, I suggest dipping the head in some kind of thick grease like this. This is trans gel. It's basically petroleum jelly. You put that on there and it'll actually stick inside your socket. Then when you get to these real hard to reach ones, get it in there and thread it without losing that bolt down the engine. So one note when you're putting this back on this boot back onto your new throttle body. There's a ridge right here. The ridge side goes on the CAC tube side and it's going to fit right in that ridge right there and lock itself down so it doesn't blow off. The other side is smooth and that's the throttle body side. So that'll slip right down there. So get it on the other side fully and then pull it all the way back to the battery box, pull it this way, then down, and now we're fully in there. You're going to hit that ridge right there, that's your spacing, you'll feel we're in that little divot, and now you can do your clamps. It's much, much easier than trying to go over here and put it on the uh, throttle body. When you're done, make sure that these the hose is fully seated onto the cack here all the way around and then you tighten it down to spec and then these ones make sure the clamp this one's loose this one's uh, stapled in um, make sure this one is centered in those two white stripes and you still have that even gap all the way around and then torque these down this uh, 6.4 produces a lot of boost and these do blow off if not done right. So there it is, all done, like new. One last thing, make sure your electrical connector is fully pushed in. It makes that click. It says it's locked in. Everything's all back together. Air intake system. And uh, it wasn't too bad, was it? A lot of people are scared to work on these. The 6.4 liters don't like to. Once you get used to them, learn their tricks, they're not so bad. So after you get that new EGR throttle plate on there, make sure you clear the codes out so that the PCM can relearn uh, the new throttle plate. And we go a little step further here at the dealers because it does affect the EGR flow we go in and we clear the adaptive tables for the EGR itself which I don't think a battery disconnect or battery short to ground um, will clear so we got that option I really don't think for the throttle body itself it's absolutely necessary um, it's more for the EGR valve itself but because it does potentially affect it, 
I go in here and do the extra step for the customer. In the end, you should have a great running truck again. Fires right up. Nice smooth idle. Another one fixed.